The Turks and Caicos Islands Mission of Seventh-day Adventists is praising God for His blessings upon our territory in the year 2017. Here is a brief review of the major events of the period under review. The year began with our annual convention on the island of Providenciales under the theme, Lord Transform Me for Your Service. Dr. Leonard Johnson, President of the Atlantic Caribbean Union, was the speaker for the weekend. We were blessed to have the Premier, Honorable Charlene Cartwright Robinson and Honorable Charles Washington Mizick, Leader of the Opposition, bring greetings to our members. That afternoon, there was an investiture service in which 80 individuals were invested. Conventions were also held on our sister islands. In February 2017, we were visited by Pastor Jerry and Sister Janet Page, Ministerial and Associate Ministerial Directors respectively of the General Conference. They were accompanied by our Union President, Dr. Johnson. The constant theme of their powerful inspirational messages was the importance and power of prayer in the lives of spiritual leaders and members. The timely presentations were gratefully received by the packed congregations. The fire of evangelism continues to burn in the hearts of our members. In March 2017, Blue Hills and Ephesus congregations held a tent evangelistic series with evangelist Jeffrey Harriet as part of the IAD Proclaim and Reap campaign program. This was followed in April by a campaign conducted at the Antioch Church in Grand Turk with Pastor Roy Lindsay. Then in May, the Q congregation in North Caicos held a campaign with Pastor Thomas Rose. And finally, during the month of May, there was a tent evangelistic crusade with the three French churches on Providenciales with evangelist Carlos Reveille from Haiti. There were also other evangelistic campaigns held in the summer and the latter part of 2017. A total of 176 persons accepted Christ as their personal Lord and Savior and were baptized in 2017. We look forward to seeing many more come to Christ in 2018 as we continue to spread the gospel through every means available. On April 24, 2017, the Maranatha Academy teachers attended a professional development workshop at the Alexandria Resort in Providenciales. The presenter was Mrs. Nicole Cox, Behavioral Management Specialist with Learn and Lead Educational Center. The Academy continues to press forward. In July 2017, the school ended the term with 117 students, 17 of whom graduated from the institution that year. During the summer and fall, the Lord moved in a mighty way and the present enrollment is 143, which is a 22% increase in the school's population. This is a clear indicator that the community has confidence in the quality Christian education being offered at our institution. We are also proud of Zaria Ingham, a student of Maranatha, who is the current Junior Minister of Tourism, who represented the country at the Regional Tourism Speech Competition on October 6, and was a part of the Turks and Caicos Islands Ministry of Tourism dignitaries who welcomed Southwest Airlines on their inaugural flight to TCI in November 2017. The Health Ministries Department hosted its first quarter health fair along with the Q7 Day Adventist Church in March 2017 on the island of North Caicos. Approximately 55 individuals benefited from the services that were offered free of charge. In May 20 to 28, the Grand Turk District held a family relational healing series at the Antioch Church with family counseling educator Elder Anthony L. Gordon of Jamaica. The series of meetings and workshops held both inside and outside of the church positively impacted the members, the community, and the public schools. The Children and Adolescent Ministries Department held Lord Transform Me Child Preachers Training Programs in Providenciales and Grand Turk and over 40 children participated. The TCIM Personal Ministries Department along with Children's Ministries Department held its first lay preacher ton on the weekend of December 16. On the Friday evening at the Blue Hills SDA Church, under the theme, Lord Transform Me for Your Service, five child preachers preached their hearts out, demonstrating their talent in proclaiming the gospel. On Sabbath afternoon at the Maranatha Academy Auditorium, 
eight adult preachers took to the pulpit and cried aloud as they too demonstrated their ability to expound the Word of God. In March 2017, the youth of our mission participated in the annual Global Youth Day outreach under the theme, Be the Sermon. There were track distributions, hospital visitations, and blood donations. Over 500 baskets of foods and toiletry were given to needy persons in their community. The youth sang, prayed, and read scriptures and served the elderly either at their homes or at the hospitals. There was a motorcade parade in Providenciales and a road march in Grand Turk. In April, a delegation of 45 individuals attended the Inter-American Division's Pathfinder Camporee in the Dominican Republic. In August, the youth department organized a one-week tent evangelistic campaign in Providenciales with Pastor Roy Lindsay and seven individuals were one to the cause of Christ. This was the first youth tent campaign to occur in our mission. The youth continued their love for the Lord in studying the Bible and participating in the Bible Connection Initiative. In October, Adrian Reeder represented the mission at the Atlantic Caribbean Union Bible Connection in Nassau, Bahamas, and was victorious for the second year in a row. The women of our mission engaged in 40 days of prayer and fasting earlier in the year. Also, there were two prayer breakfasts for women. The first was organized by the Ephesus Church with special guest speaker, Premier the Honorable Charlene Cartwright Robinson. The second prayer breakfast for women was coordinated by the Blue Hills Church featuring as guest speaker, Barrister Mrs. Doreen Quelch Mizick. During August, Adra TCIM engaged in a week-long mission trip to Haiti as a follow-up from 2016 year's visit. A group of 12 persons headed by our ADRA director visited the South Haiti Mission and coordinated Vacation Bible School, distributed back-to-school supplies, painted classrooms or school buildings, and conducted a one-week nightly lay evangelistic campaign that resulted in a wedding and two baptisms. On November 29 to December 3, the Stewardship Department held a Stewardship Emphasis Weekend. There was a business symposium and Mrs. Sophia Thomas from TCI Invest Development Agency presented on the subject, How to Start and Sustain Small Businesses. Also present was the Honorable Gold Ray Ewing, Minister of Works for the Turks and Caicos Islands who declared the symposium open. The members were also nourished spiritually for the weekend by Dr. James Daniels, Vice President and Associate Stewardship Director of the Inter-American Division of Seventh-day Adventists. As we move to transition from mission to conference status, our working capital and liquidity continue to hold at over 100%. In the month of September, our islands were ravaged by two back-to-back -back hurricanes, Irma and Maria. Just about every resident, inclusive of many of our members, were affected within the islands of Grand Turk, Providenciales, and South Caicos, as well as Salt Key being hit the hardest. Several of our churches sustained damages, and our mission house in Grand Turk received extensive damage to the roof and the interior. We are grateful to the Almighty God that in spite of these natural disasters, He preserved the lives of the people of our land. The Adventist Development and Relief Agency and our Community Services Department were prepared and began working during and after the storms. During the hurricanes, ADRA TCIM volunteers served as shelter managers, first responders, and command center personnel for the government. After the hurricane, supplies were distributed to the various islands to those who were in need. Non-members as well as members were thankful for the tarpaulins, food items, and other supplies that they received. Soup and food kitchens were and continue to be set up to feed many in our communities. Many of the members of our churches whose houses and personal items were damaged or destroyed during the hurricanes received funds from our organization. This act of kindness was greatly appreciated and brought tears of joy to many. 
We are deeply grateful for the financial contributions of our division, union, and sister fields, and for their moral support during our time of need. Over $73,000 was distributed to our members, and when combined with the value of the tarpaulins, food items, and other relief packages, over $200,000 in aid value was given to the residents of TCI. We say a special thanks to our union officers, departmental directors, and persons from the South Bahamas Conference who also visited us during this difficult period. Our mission president, Pastor Michael A. Smith, wishes to express his gratitude to everyone who came to the aid of our territory during the aftermath of the storms. Thanks to his fellow administrators, departmental directors, executive committee members, and pastors who have helped in providing leadership to God's people as they seek to rebuild their lives. We join the songwriter in saying, Through many dangerous toils and snares we have already come. Tis grace has brought us safe thus far, and grace will lead us home.